At the end of the last episode of designing my dream Porsche, this was the side view sketch. And from this side view sketch, I also had a couple of front and the rear ideas. But for me, the best way to proceed from this point was to create a basic 3D. So here on Blender, I spent 15 minutes to use this sketch as a reference and start to create the base volumes in 3D. And then I spent 20 more minutes and I brought the wheels from my Gallardo model and I just closed the volume. It's not so much related to the design, it is not detailed at all, but just to have the volume so I can understand better the proportions of this car. But as you see, it looked a little bit too narrow and kind of awkward because everything was just by eye without any dimensions or anything. So then I decided to use the dimensions of the Porsche Mission X and I had to scale down everything, but I also made the car a little bit wider. Here you can see. So this was better proportions. Also, I realized that on this middle one, the cabin is kind of in the middle, but is it like a rear engine, front engine? It looked a bit awkward to me. It was not visible directly from like which side the cabin is leaning to and I decided to push the cabin a little bit forward so now it's more like front leaning cabin and I think it gives a bit more Porsche feeling as well. A bit more softer silhouette here. And this adjustment at the end took 5 minutes so in total 15, 20 and 5, around 40 minutes I just brought this sketch, I mean I cannot say I brought this sketch into 3D but I just created my base shape on 3D. And then I put this 3D model into Viscom. By the way, Viscom is the sponsor of this video. If you don't know yet, it is an AI platform that supports your design process. You can try it for free at viscom.ai. So I put this 3D model into Viscom to see a couple of variations, but then I decided to go to Photoshop, just taking screenshots of this Blender file and sketch some angles on the Photoshop directly. For example, this one was the side view, and a quick front view and the rear perspective just based on this 3D screenshot to have the proportions similar on each angle then on Viscom for example the side view when I generated the first sketch it was not very clean or it was not super appealing and it's because of the sketch itself as well as you see it's a very dirty sketch even with some shading so this kind of things can confuse AI and you shouldn't expect exactly like, oh, it will do what I have in my mind. By the way, I'm preparing an AI for car design course. It is now at the pre-order stage. In a couple of months, it will be ready. And if you want to pre-order it, you will have $30 discount. So you can see it on my website. So after this first result, I just took it to Photoshop. I exported this. And on Photoshop, no, sorry, this is not Photoshop version. This is another version. Like this was one of the options. This was another option. So I picked this one. And I exported it to Photoshop and then I sketch over. As you see, I wanted to change the surfacing here, for example, and playing around with some highlights. And then I imported this sketch back to Viscom and refined it further. So here you can see the refined version. I think it's pretty cool for a starting point. Like it's not the final render or anything at the end because I will continue on the 3D to see if it really works on 3D for me the way I like it, but more or less like this side view, this proportions, cabin a little bit more forward, this air outlet here and the air intake, everything starts to come together in my mind better. So for the front, I imported this sketch and I like this result from Viscom, put it on Photoshop again. As you see, I changed a lot the surfaces. I'm not so happy with it, but I refined it also on Viscom. It looks better. However, I'm definitely not convinced with design. It's just a good starting point for me to understand the volumes better. For example, this one feels a little bit fat on the side and the wheels look a little bit too small. Like it's kind of like a weak version, like a, not a weak version, but it doesn't look strong and it doesn't have like a supercar feeling. It looks a little bit fat. So it's, I'm not convinced with it, but that's the thing about design. In a couple seconds, I'm going to compare it with the previous episodes front view. But first I want to show you what I did with the rear view. So this was the sketch on the rear and then I generated a couple of versions and I think I picked this one and bring it back to Photoshop. So I just very roughly sketched some lines so I can imagine like I, what can you expect from AI when you have this many chaotic lines, right? This kind of topics I'm going to talk in my AI car design course. So then I just refined it further anyway. I created a couple of versions and I think I like this one more but still I'm not convinced. It's just a... Um, like at this stage of design, what I really like is to see from a very rough 3D model to feel how it would look 
a bit more realistic, how the surfaces, how the highlights would, would work. So that's what I like about Viscom using the AI for this stage, but it's definitely not for finalizing or creating the design for me. You know, I want to design it myself. Let's do a quick comparison here. The one on the left is from the previous episode side view. And this one on the right is the updated version. And like the one on the left looks maybe more futuristic, more stretched, a little bit more extreme. But also these details I kind of liked before, but now I feel it's a little bit too much of like a race car vibes. So the one on the right, I think it fits more to like a street version of a supercar, of a hypercar. And as I said before, I like that cabin is more forward and I like this very soft approach here. It feels more like a Porsche to me. The air intake area can be a little bit softer, like this one maybe is better on that case. But on the front wheel arch area, maybe it can be like detached, like on the Mission X. It can be a bit outside from the, the body side. And I want to explore it further on 3D. But the one on the right, honestly, looks better to me now. And feels more Porsche. Maybe this shorter overhang, it feels better. For the rear, let's see. Okay, I had this rear and I kind of liked it. Not kind of, I quite liked it on the previous episode on this rear. There are comments like it looks like Polestar or Audi, but I think it also fits the Porsche. However, it doesn't exactly fit to this side view because I wanted this very sharp, like different angles rather than a flat ending here. I want some negative surfaces and positive ones. So I think this might not totally fit. However, this rear on the new episode, like on this video is also not so satisfying. The diffuser area looks cool because it's anyway generated by AI mostly. But the lights, I'm not happy at all. And this area where the engine will be, I want to do something special there. Like I don't want it to end like a normal coupe type of ending. Like on the Blender file here, I want to create somehow something different there. It's also not so different. I know it even feels a bit like retro here, but... I will work on it. It's only for understanding better in 3D. So the rear, I'm still not satisfied with. Let's see the front. I had different options on the front. For example, this one on the left. I still like the headlight and the air intake combination of this sketch more than the one on the right. So I will definitely work on the front further. The one on the right looks very conventional to me. It's not so impressive. But on the other hand, like this front, again, the wheel arch area, I think... Here, this will be more lightweight, a bit more compact, a bit more engineered everything, more aerodynamic feeling. So the one on the left feels traditional about the rest of the body, but the headlight and the air intake on the front, I like the one on the left. We had a couple more options, like quite aggressive ones here. So I will definitely explore further here. I will come back to the sketches as well. Like this one was also not so bad. It can also fit to maybe some language here, like floating surfaces type of language it might fit. So for the next episode, I'm planning to do more variations for both front design and the rear design. But I think the side view mostly, like 85% of it, I will keep. I just want to work on the smoothing the sharp surfaces here, like the sharp angles, let's say. I want to make it a little bit more refined. But more or less the proportions, I like the side view especially the most. And on 3D, like if you look from the top, it looks very flat here like the greenhouse look very flat i want to do it a bit more like a teardrop shape so things will change also even on this base draft model and i think the final design will not look much like this model i will probably model everything from zero but it's a good draft it's a good beginning but now it's time to work a little bit more on 2d to generate a couple more alternatives for front and the rear especially so what do you think? Please let me know in the comments. It's been a while that I didn't do this episode 4. So I wanted to quickly create at least this 3D model, honestly, to just catch up with this project because it's been weeks that I didn't touch it. It's sometimes on the back of my head. And as it's a personal project, there is no one pushing you or doing it, you know. And I think I'm a procrastinator. So finally, it feels good to proceed a little bit more from the previous episode and hopefully soon I'm gonna work further and I'm gonna update you with the new design variations. See you in the next video.